Welcome back to Spruce Hill Outdoors. Today what we're going to be doing, we're going to be hiking uh, the Lakeside Trail at Cohen's Gap. We're going to hike the Lakeside Trail, show you what it's about. I think it's a one and a half mile trail around the lake. So we're going to do that, show you what it looks like. Okay, we're down here at the lake now. You see the lake and the beach. There's a sign here, Tuscarora Trail. Colonel Dunning State Park's 43 miles on this trail and CNO Canal in Maryland is 32 miles that way. We're gonna walk up here to the Lakeside Trail and go around the lake. All right, so we're on the trail now. You can see it's a nice gravel trail, pretty level. Um, easy walking trail and not really hills or anything like that. But down here's the lake. So we're just going to walk the whole way around this lake. And what we're doing, we're going to look at the lake to see where we want to fish at. And then we're going to come back and get a boat and go out there and try doing some fishing. See how we make out there. It's supposed to have trout, bass, catfish, um, all kinds of different fish in here. So who knows what we'll catch. Could be a big one, it could be a little one. We'll see. What do you want to catch? <laughs> All right, so we'll walk out through here and uh, see anything interesting. We'll record it for you. <laughs> the name at the end of the lake. Get this sign here about the waterfowl. There's wood ducks, mallards, black ducks. All kinds of different ducks here. You're not allowed to feed any of them. This just is a different. Uh, Thing, just then find all the different ducks. Up here is a sign on the dam, 1936, Cones that Gap Dam. That's pretty cool. This cool little bridge here we're going to walk across. I'll be probably see some fish down there. This is a spillway. See it down there? You see any fish down there? Look at that big fish land down there. That bass, you see it? Yeah. Right straight down. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that fish down there, but it's huge. It's a big old bass. <laughs> big bass right here land. Look at him. See him? Oh my god. Yeah, he's a big one. <laughs> big old largemouth. Here's a couple smaller ones over here, but that's a huge wow. one. That is a big fish. Good eyes, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, they always are at these these spillways. The fish are always laying here, so. I gotta start looking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How'd you like to catch that, sweetheart? Even my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so we know there's some big fish in here. There's a large mouth there. The guys back here said they were catching trout. So there's all kinds of fish in here. That's a big boy. Right, we're officially on Lakeside Trail now. We need to come across the Tuscarora Trail to get over here to the Lakeside Trail. So and we saw one big largemouth bass down there off of that bridge. Oh. <laughs> That's an electric bike. <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> but we're going to see if we can see any other fish when we're out along here. But we know there's largemouth bass in here. We know there's trout in here. So we'll see what else we can see. Before on this lakeside trail, we came to this little fishing spot. We got this log going out in the water, which is going to hold fish. Pine trees and stuff, but it uh, looks really nice. I don't see any fish because I don't have my fishing glasses on, but... It's a beautiful spot. I mean, over there's the beach on the other side. Oh, there's, a, oh, there's a little fish land right there, a little sunfish. That's the third different fish we've seen, and we've only been walking for 15 minutes. Look at those people over there fishing with that big fish one. But it's a beautiful spot. You've got a big old log here you can sit on. And we're going to go back up to the trail. I just wanted to show you that, that view. That's beautiful here. Along this lake, we stopped at a couple different spots. We've seen three or four different species of fish. There's fish all through here. 
It's a nice relaxing walk. There's no uphills or anything. So it's a nice little walk. We're right next to the lake. You can see the water right there. Here's another look out here. Every lookout we see, we stop and see if there's any fish. And we've seen, there's another one right there's a little bluegill. I don't know if he shows up on the camera or not, but there's a little bluegill going. Um, there's definitely fish in here. It'll be interesting to get out here and do some fishing. Put it along the side of the tree. We saw some chicken mushroom earlier, but we didn't get to record it. We may go back and uh, record that then. Well, I forget what they call that. Uh, bear's corn or something like that. Is it a mushroom? Or... No, it's just a little plant that comes up. Walking along this trail, there's a cardinal up there in the tree. He was after a butterfly a little while ago. <laughs> Rent canoes and kayaks and boats over here. So, and there's a, a dock right there. So, let's keep walking out this trail. Looks like we're coming to the end of the lake. It says, Northern water snakes look carefully from April to October. So there's water snakes in this area, but uh, where we're at now, there's no boats allowed in this area. But we've been seeing fish in here. It's very shallow, but see some trout, some bass. We're on the other side of the lake now. Lake's over to our left side now. See, they've got these pavilions here. If you uh, had like a family get together, you could probably rent one of these pavilions. A lot of nice old stone work and stuff. We're gonna go down here and see if we can run a boat or not. Get out there in that water and see if we can't catch some of these fish. One of these pavilions more close up. See, it's pretty nice. It's got a big old fireplace. You can have a fireplace in there. It's pretty cool. And they got a nice little park over here. Benches and stuff, you can sit there right by the water. And then over here, they got a volleyball court. We'll play volleyball. Also, saw a horseshoe pit earlier. So, they, the horseshoe's here. So here's a, the building where you rent the boats from. There's fishing tackle bait, camping supplies, boat rentals. They have kayaks, they have paddle boats, and then they have you know, regular V-bottom boats down there. So, they're not open yet, but uh, we're gonna be renting a boat here and going out whenever they open. All right, we just finished hiking the lakeside trail here at Cohen's Gap. Uh, it's a pretty nice trail. Went the whole way around the lake. You can see the fish and stuff in the lake. It just pretty much circles the lake. It's a really good trail to hike if you wanna get a layout of the lake and stuff. Um, no hills at all, it's perfectly flat, easy trail to hike. So if you're over at Cohen's Gap, that's a good trail to, to hike. If you want an easy hike, just to go around the lake. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.